hi everybody set k bunny here today i'm going to show you how to design this birthday flyer let's step into photoshop all right so real quick please like this video if you like the kind of content that i'm creating here and also guys don't forget to comment just two words three words anything that comes into mind just type in there for me and i'll be much grateful let's start with today's video so i'll go to file and i'll go to new and then i'm going to use this dimension 2000 2300 here and i'm going to call it birthday flyer and then i'll click on create i'm also going to go to view i'll go to guards or new guard layout and then i'm going to set it to two across set here to 70 across let's increase it to 90 right or we can even make it 100 and then paste it across and then let's click on okay so we have everything set up for us it's now to start with our video i'm going to start by bringing the image in there let's go and then let me drag the image everything is going to be in the description for you to use okay so that's it and i'm going to resize it more hold this side hold out and then resize it drag this here i want the hands to be showing a little bit of the hands to be showing so also guys try and keep the nose in the middle of the line really important now i feel like this is great and so i'm going to put it in a group then i'm going to call it image but the image needs to be a little bit epic it looks quite nice and stuff we want to give it some kind of high pass or hdr effect a little bit so i'm going to duplicate it and then i'll go to filter then i'll go to other then i'll go to high pass and then i'm going to set it to 10 at this side and that is all i'll click on ok now also this is not really nice all right so now let's go to this side and then let's set it to the blended modes let's set it to which one let's set it to hide light and then that is all so we are done with our image now let's bring the background i'll go to solid color click ok and drag the color underneath the image all right now double click on the color and i'll try and pick any yellowish color or perhaps even brownish color one that comes into mind i feel like this is good like i see i'm picking the colors from the image and that's why it's going to blend nicely now click on okay okay now also i'm going to put it in a group and then i'll call it bg i'll come back to it we're not done with the background i'll come back to it but then i want to add some stuff to the hair so i'm going to click on my ellipse tool and then hold shift and then drag it like that and then click on my move tool and then drag it up but i still want it to cover guys i'm holding out okay so well it depends on the version of photoshop you are using now i also want a portion of the earring to stick out that way it looks cool and also looks kind of nice so uh i think this is better i like this so far i think i like this all right i'm going to double click it and i'm going to set it to color white and also click on my ellipse tool i don't want there to be a stroke so i'll set a stroke off and this by far is good i'll duplicate it and then the one on top of it i would go to filter and then go to blur and then go to gaussian blur and then click on convert to smart object and then i'll set the radius to one four seven and then i'll click on ok i'm also going to give it a mask click on my brush to set it to color black and then the brush to soft round brush and then the opacity and the flow to 100 the smoothing to 12 i'll click on this side and also make sure my caps lock is off and then i'll clean this side increase the size a little bit clean this side i want to clean this side now i am doing that let's bring it in white i am doing that because i want to bring some glow effect towards the side and i want it to stand out more now i'm going to put it in a group and i'll call it white round and so we are done with that one let's also bring in some name let me click on my text tool and then i'll type somewhere here and i'll go and then i'll pick happy birthday ctrl c to copy it and then let's drag it on top of the image double click on it and then paste it awesome let's go to our paragraph and click on the left aligned now go back to car uh, character we are going to use the font let me set it to all class and then let me type it again we Key, wicked mouse so i'm going to use wicked mouse for the font click on my move tool and drag it somewhere here okay now let me drag this here you can see the image extends to that side so i'm going to drag it there and then increase the or transform it a little bit something like this is great now you can see here is 49 let me give this side 45 let's see i think 45 is quite good but i'll make it uh maybe 
48 to let's see 48 is better i'll duplicate it and then go oh, click on my move tool and then drag it down a little bit now i want to pick the name ctrl c to copy it double click it and then let's paste it there now i'm going to use caliber i'm going to use regular for now and then the font size well let's ctrl t and then let's see let's see whether we can transform it like that all right let's move it down we also wanted to touch the line now guys you can see i'm trying to keep the spacing quite kind of equal or a little bit you know something like that and um guys you can play with the tracking you can play with all those stuff i feel like this is better i'm going to put it in a group close this one ctrl g and then let's call it name now i'll double click it and give it a little effect and so um, i'm going to give it some stroke because i want it to stand out already the shirt is a little bit whitish and gray so we need to make sure it blends in there you can pick any gray color around this area set the size to one and then the opacity to 100 and then that is it we can reduce the opacity a little bit if we want to as well let's come back to drop shadow and then drop shadow you want to set here to normal set the opacity to 41 choose color black and then the angle to 90 let's click on um, global use global light set here to two set here to zero set here to two five zero and then come and then pick this contour and then that is all and then click on okay we can put it in a group you can see it has a mild effect over there but it makes the happy birthday and the name to stand out more now we also want to bring in some message in there so i'm going to click on my text tool and then click and then drag to create something like this now i am going to pick and i'll come and paste it here with ctrl v awesome i'll go into my text i'm still using the same font for the calibri or calibri <laughs> but i'm going to set the size of the text to around um, let's say 1313 and then i'll set this side also to 13 as a leading i'll go to paragraph and set it to this okay i feel like this is great but we can still do more with it if we if we want to now long life it's not either it's not either i'll come and pick my ellipse to or let's pick let's pick the rectangular to and then let's draw something like that okay let's drag it underneath it if i let's select both of them the wish let's bring it outside let's put it in a group and then let's call it message let's close the name and then let's open this now we're dealing with this i want us to hide this for now now with this let's double click on the t side here and then let's try and then bring it in a little bit more okay okay i feel like this is better yeah i feel like this is better okay so this is better uh, and so let's click on our move tool and then let's move it somewhere there and then let's click on this and then let's reduce the let's go to this and then let's set it to no fill let's go to the stroke let's set the stroke to color white and then the stroke the size of the stroke let's set it to 13. okay now let's size it well i want us to go to properties let's go to this side let's set it to 90. click on the wishing you all that and bring it to the middle we are basically using your eyes to gauge it once you have it i want you to come back to this and duplicate it by clicking on ctrl j and the one underneath it i want you to come and click this and then set it to no stroke go to fill and set it to black and then come to the opacity and set the opacity way down to around 20 something maybe 23 or 24 good now let's put everything in there and then let's transform it you want to transform it like this you also don't want it to touch the you don't want it to touch the earring something like this is good guys you could experiment and find out which one works better and then let's click on this remember this is the black one give it a mask and then pick your brush set this side to color black we are using a soft round brush and then caps lock off reduce the size and then let's yeah you can see let's clean that side now it looks great it looks great so we are done with the message too and i feel like this is better now let's go and bring in the rest of the stuff let's bring this one all the way into photoshop and then let's release it let's resize it let's rotate it let's drag it here okay enter now let's put it in a group let's call it golden flower let's duplicate it again now the one on top 
let's go to filter let's go to blur let's go to motion blur and then let's let's see let's give the angle minus four six let's give the distance 29 let's click on ok now i want you to give it a mask set here to color black and pick your brush caps lock off and brush this side brush this side that is all now also let's come back to the background this side let's add more stuff to it what do you say guys let's go and then let's bring this one to it and release it in there we don't want the background to be too boring and so now we can hold alt and then resize it enter ctrl zero let's okay so let's give it some blending modes let's use let's use divide and then let's go to filter let's go to blur and then let's go to gaussian blur gaussian blur let's set the size to 12 or the radius to 12 and click on okay now now you want to click on this side this side of the mask okay and then let's click on this side to reveal let's click on this side to also reveal and then let's to reveal some parts that we really want to reveal that way it looks interesting and then we can leave it like that now also we want to add some glue to it so let's create a new layer and then let's pick the yellow color in the background any yellow color in the background oh, this is good and i'll click on this side okay now i'm going there and i'll go and pick screen interesting now i want to i want to increase it more i'll duplicate it and then bring it towards this side as well but i'll reduce the size scale a little bit now guys you can see there's a lot of action going on in there let's put it in the group first i feel like the message cannot be seen glow so what i'm going to do is i'm going to drag the message on top of the glow that way we can see it a little bit and what else are we left with i think let's merge everything together what do you say guys Control alt shift and then e right click it and set it to convert to smart object now we can add some few effects to it let's go to camera raw filter and then let's see whether we can play with the settings a little bit now let's move the temperature all the way to around um, 11 the contrast let's move the contrast also up a little bit maybe around 10 the high lights let's see the highlights to around seven and then the shadows to maybe one or two we'll do the white the white let's drag the white up okay and then the black let's drag the black down great and then let's see the texture let's drag the texture to around 11 or 12 i can see some crispiness coming in a little bit i love that the clarity let's drag the clarity down a bit and then i feel like this is good let's um the, the vibrance yeah the vibrance the vibrance the vibrance let's drag it up now let's go to effect and then the green let's drag the green up a little bit around seven is good and then the vignetting let's set it down a little bit all right so let's see you can see the effect over there let's click on okay okay so guys this is already good but um i still want to do one more thing to it made it irreversible i'm going to come back here and then i'm going to create a new layer i'm going to pick my pen tool and then i'll make sure caps lock is also off then click on that side and come and click on this side and go and click on that side come and click on come and click on this side come and click on that side come and click on come and click on that side all right so so guys let's go to brush and then let's set it to hard round brush now at this side let's set it to 150 and then enter and remember it's hard round brush i want you to pick your pen tool again and then right click it and choose stroke pad click there and choose brush and click on okay great now i want us to convert it to smart up double click it and then we can pick any solid color yeah we can pick any color in there but then i want you to come and pick this color code i'll leave it under the screen for you so you can pick it up all right and i'll click on okay i'll click on my move to click on it and click on delete that way the path goes Control t and then i'll have it like this hold alt and then I'll make it like that okay i'll give it a mask and then i'll pick my brush 
and then I pick hard round brush guys remember I think this side looks a little funny so I'll clean it yeah okay so so that is it for you guys that is it for you and then I'll click on this side ctrl alt shift and then E again now ctrl C to copy it double click this side ctrl V to paste and I'll delete the one underneath it ctrl S to save it guys I hope you are, you are following the whole thing and then I'll close this one now once i click on this it's going to appear there i can click the one underneath it okay now this is the final one you can duplicate the glue and then drag it on top of it and then click on your move to and then drag the glue towards this side too i mean just it's just purely experimental guys now if you love this video please hit the bell icon and subscribe to this channel guys i love you all see you in the next video peace